Hello, welcome to Server Simply. We have just launched a new feature on our site. This My Project section is actually a very good tool for uh, project planning and infrastructure design. Let's check it out. Uh, obviously, this my, my project is uh, only usable for registered users, so if you haven't yet registered, please create your account. As you might see, we have a uh, default project here where I have uh, previously added some uh, items, but uh, nevertheless, let's create a new project and I will show you all about it. So, adding a new project, AMD Virtualization 3, for example, I have previously used this name, but uh, let's use it. It's appropriate. So we have just now created a new project. Obviously, we don't have any items here yet. But from previous uh, how-to videos, we have actually two items in our shopping cart that uh, perhaps we could use in some project. So let's open uh, this configuration. In the configuration view, we have added a new button, uh, add to project. So we can add instantly from uh, configurator view, this uh, configuration to project. So we have got confirmation that uh, this product has been added and we can add its name or application. We can see this current configuration that we just had. If needed, we can add some uh, notes in this uh, bottom section. When we want to change this configuration, then we will just click on the link here and it will open up in the configurator again. And now from the configurator, we have a possibility to uh, uh, update the configuration and update in project here or add to project as a new configuration. So uh, let's do a uh, new configuration based on this uh, configuration that we had earlier. So we can also select the same project. And so we can see that in this uh, AMD virtualization project, we have a second configuration now with the selected uh, CPU. So, right now we have two configurations in the project. We can easily adjust the quantities to desire the amount and it will update the pricing accordingly right here. And also, we can actually share this project very easily to, with our co-workers or uh, other infrastructure specialists that we, uh, let's say, want to get opinion from or to our boss to get approval for the budget. It can actually have many useful scenarios where you want to share the project configuration with others. Keep in mind that uh, Shared project view shows the individual pricings for each user. So if you're not logged in, you will see the public pricing. If you are logged in, you will see your own personal pricings. To show you how the shared project uh, looks, I will open a new incognito window. So this is how the shared project looks uh, for the uh, for the customer who doesn't have this project in their project list. Uh, we can see the configuration here, we can see the name, we can see the pricing, and the pricing is actually different from the ones that we saw earlier. The activities that what we, what we can do is actually add all to my new project. So uh, I haven't, uh, let's say, logged in, and I want to add those uh, systems to my uh, project. So I can copy them to actually my own project. This setup I have created previously just to show you that uh, a shared project can be a little bit more complicated, adding switches there, adding some uh, data switches, top of rack switches. It just helps you to create full projects, uh, budget them, share them, 
see what uh, what kind of uh, scenarios uh, can you use uh, with this project basically do some uh, variations of different scenarios and uh, just compare them and uh, then decide uh, which project you want to roll into live so there will be soon more news about this uh, my project features but until then stay healthy and use our uh, server simply site